another one of my YouTube videos. On today's video, I am gonna be talking about some first trimester symptoms and also some tips and some tricks to help you guys get through this crazy time. But first, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Apparently Blunt, and on this channel, we do some vlogging, some lifestyle things, some educational tips. Also, we do some pregnancy videos. I recently moved to Germany, so I also do Germany videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, girl, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to like my video. So if you are new here as well, I am currently 26 weeks pregnant. I am about to be 27 weeks pregnant. I'm about to be 27 weeks pregnant in two days. I'm really excited. I'm almost in my third trimester. It's going really, really fast. And you know, I just told myself that I really wanna help you guys. Some of you guys who are trying to get pregnant who are pregnant already. Some of you who are watching this video, you're in your first trimester and you're feeling like crap. You're probably tired. You're probably puking. Well, listen, girl, I'm trying to help you out, okay? So just keep watching this video so you can get some tips. Right before we get into this video, I'm gonna tell you guys that all these tips that I'm telling you right now, these are all of my first trimester symptoms. You can have less symptoms than me, obviously, or you can have more symptoms than me. I mean, if you have more symptoms than me, I feel bad for you because I already have all of them besides puking. But I'm still gonna create this video, but here's a disclaimer. I'm not gonna go over every single symptom that you're probably experiencing in your first trimester. These are just mine and how I dealt with them, some tips that have helped me so that I can help you guys. Originally, when I got pregnant, I got pregnant and found out that I was pregnant very, very early on. I found out that I was pregnant and I was not even four weeks yet. I was probably a slim three weeks and yeah, I took my pregnancy test. I kind of knew something was going on because I just had a decrease in appetite and some other little things that you can also check out my pregnancy video that I have, which is my whole entire experience. It's a 45 long minute video. It's gonna tell you in detail how I felt and how I found out I was pregnant, but I knew something was up. So one of the first things I experienced was swelling. I was so shocked when I started swelling because I started to get a little pooch, you know? Like, I'm not gonna tell y'all, like, I don't have an eight pack or a six pack, okay? Unfortunately, I already pre-pregnancy did not have that. So it wasn't like, okay, I have six abs and then tomorrow, I have one and I just know that I was pregnant. No, that's not what I'm trying to tell you. But my stomach was relatively flat already. Emphasis on relatively. But now I was getting a pooch. Like I would put on a dress and there would just be like a little pooch at the bottom. Actually, I'm gonna insert this picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I had this pooch, my face was swelling up, my nose was getting puffier, my cheeks were getting puffier, everything was getting puffy. I'm not one of those people who eat a lot of salt, but I do know that eating a lot of salt can negatively contribute to your swelling when you're in your first trimester. So if you are one of those people like me and you struggled with swelling, I will say please limit your salt intake. And another tip that I can give you, in your free time, go on the couch, chill, watch your show. But remember, when you're chilling at home, and my mom has to tell me this all the time, everyone tells me this all the time, because I always forget, you need to make sure that you are propping your legs up and propping your feet up. So even if you're laying down in bed, and you're chilling, you're watching TV, just make sure that your legs are elevated and that your feet are elevated. I know it doesn't really make sense for me to really tell you that, but just know as a pregnant lady, okay, I know what I'm talking about and it's just so much weight and so much pressure, so many fluids that are just constantly running through your legs, right? You're getting heavier by the day, all this stuff is going on. So the least that you can do and it will take so much pressure off your legs is if you just elevate your legs while you're laying down, while you're chilling and also don't forget to limit your salt intake. The next thing that I'm gonna be talking about is nausea. So if you're in your first trimester and you clicked on this video to get some nausea tips. So here's a disclaimer. I have not puked, okay? Now I have been very, and I do mean very, close to puking, but I've never puked before. Now, when I do eat sometimes, and even now that I'm about to be in my third trimester, when I eat, I do feel my food just sitting right here in the middle of my throat. It's not going anywhere. It's really annoying. But here are some tips to that. When you eat, 
okay? Listen up, write it down if you have to. When you eat, do not lay down right after you eat. Now, laying down, I'm not just talking about the bed, I'm also talking about the couch, okay? Sit up when you eat because it's gonna be worse for you. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. And if you puke, unlike me, if you actually do puke, it's gonna be really bad for you, okay? Because just imagine, I'm telling you guys that after I eat, after every single meal, doesn't matter if it's grapes, watermelon, a banana, the food, I just feel it sitting right here. So can you just imagine if I'm laying down on my side or however you're laying down, if it's already right here when I'm standing up, what do you think is gonna happen when you lay down, okay? So just stop doing that. Also with nausea or when it comes to swelling, make sure that you elevate and raise your pillows, okay? So when you're sleeping, if you are a person who only sleeps with one or two pillows, I'm just gonna let you know that's already not enough, okay? You need to make sure that you're elevating your head, elevating your neck, elevating your top part of the body as much as you possibly can, and it's really gonna help you. Or you can also purchase a body pregnancy pillow. These pillows, you can find them on Amazon from 30 to all the way up to $100. Just depends on how much comfort you want. I know my pillow was about 40 something dollars on Amazon. You really wanna elevate your upper body and your face and your neck and your head as much as possible. Let's talk about morning sickness. Again, I also put this in one of my videos. Morning sickness does not mean that you're only gonna be nauseous or puking in the morning. That happens all throughout the day. Since I don't puke, I still get nauseous. I still have morning sickness all throughout the day, it doesn't even matter. When you're nauseous, the last thing that you're thinking about is eating, okay? But here is a tip for you. When you are pregnant, there is nothing that is going to get that nauseous up out of you, okay? I'm a ginger fiend, okay? I love ginger. I love the way ginger tastes. Pre-pregnancy, I love ginger tea. I love ginger candy. I love ginger gum. I'm a ginger girl, okay? So I just thought, I just already knew that I had this pregnancy nausea thing down pat. All I told myself was that I'll just go to Whole Foods really quick, get me a whole bunch of ginger mints, and then boom, nausea's gone. Well, yeah, I was wrong. And if you're thinking that that's gonna happen, so are you. So pregnancy nausea is different than regular nausea, okay? The reason why you have regular nausea is not the same reason why you have pregnancy nausea, okay? Pregnancy nausea, you're growing an entire human being inside of you. And yeah, it's just a lot of problems with that, okay? So that's a little tip for you. Don't try to get all of these supplements and even Tums and just different things like that, thinking that it's gonna help you and help your body because yes, that may have helped you when you were not pregnant, but this nausea, honey, is nothing to play with and it's not going anywhere, okay? But what you can do to help with nausea is that you can eat smaller meals, okay? So for me, I had a decrease in appetite throughout my pregnancy, even now. My first trimester, honestly, I was barely eating. I did not like food. I did not like to look at food. I thought just food in general is disgusting. I did not have any food aversions. Basically, a food aversion is when you just have crazy pregnancy cravings or you just don't have any at all, okay? And you get most of those in your first trimester or you can get them in your third trimester. Or, I mean, really, you can get them in all trimesters, but typically, your first trimester is when you get food aversions. I didn't have any of that, okay? I hated food. So for me, it was just really hard to really just wrap my head around, first of all, that I'm pregnant, and then second of all, that I have all these issues, right? And then third of all, why can I not eat? I'm a major foodie, so I like to eat. I always said that as soon as I get pregnant one day, all I wanna do is eat whatever I wanna eat and play my Sims game all day. And y'all, that's just not what's been happening. When you are nauseous, eat small meals, okay? This is going to help you eat six to eight small meals. Now, no, I'm not talking about eat six servings of spaghetti or seven servings of McDonald's. It's not what I'm trying to tell you guys here, okay? If you lose your appetite, just like how I lost my appetite, eating small meals can be a banana as one meal, cereal as another meal, noodles as another meal, a TV dinner as another meal, crackers as another meal. Another tip about nausea is that when you are newly pregnant, as soon as you get out of the bed, okay, you need to roll over very slowly, get up slowly. If you Google this information, you will see that a lot of people who do struggle with morning sickness and nausea or puking early as soon as they wake up in the morning, you can have you a few crackers in the morning, way before you even get out of the bed, 
just have you a couple of crackers, let your stomach settle for about five to 10 minutes and then get up. But you really need to slowly roll out of bed, not roll out of bed quick, okay? If you're a puker, it's not gonna end well for you. Next, let's talk about tiredness and being tired all the time. As soon as I took my pregnancy test, I wasn't tired anymore. Now that I'm about to be in my third trimester, I wake up tired and I usually get about 12 hours of sleep a day and sometimes more, okay? If you are tired, don't be like me. If you're tired, do not try to fight it. Listen to your body. With all of these tips, all of these symptoms that I'm giving you guys, please listen to your body. If you're tired and you are just trying to force yourself to go to the gym, don't go to the gym. I'm sorry. You just have to just get it in your head that I'm carrying a human being and I'm just not the same person that I was before I got pregnant. So I always have to remind myself that even now because I just think that I'm still superwoman and I can just do all of these tasks in one day and girl, I'm struggling. So that's not what it's gonna be like. So tiredness, lay your behind down, okay? Don't be thinking that you can do all this stuff. Lay down and relax. Another first trimester symptom that I had is that my breasts got super, super big very, very, very quickly. So with that being said, I highly recommend, this happens to you, go ahead, sis, okay? Get you some wireless bras and just hit up the maternity section. I know you're probably thinking like, dang, I'm only eight weeks. Like what's going on? I'm not even fully about to be in my second trimester yet. How am I shopping for maternity wear? Well, listen, do not compare yourself to anyone else's pregnancy journey. Don't compare your body to anyone else's. Our bodies are all different and they react differently to carrying a human being, okay? So hit up the maternity section, get you some wireless bras. The wireless bras will really, really help you. And it's just more comfortable. Another thing that happened to me that's very, 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 very annoying, okay? So this is motion sickness, okay? That's what we're gonna be talking about next. Motion sickness not only happened to me in my first trimester, it's still happening. Now, what do I mean by motion sickness? Don't worry, girl, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so in my first trimester, I was less responsive to people contacting me, okay? If you try to text me, any emails coming through my phone, I simply could not check them. And this happened, you guys, for a smooth three and a half to four months, okay? What do I mean by that? Looking at my phone and I'm just trying to scroll and scroll and scroll and text people back, that made me dizzy. So just the motion from me moving my hands on my phone, trying to text you guys back, I couldn't even do that. Had not checked my email in about two months. Even my computer, just looking at my computer and watching the computer screen scroll, or even watching TV, watching people walk on TV screens was making me nauseous and sick, okay? So that happened to me. Some people don't have this at all, but of course, of course, my child, I have to have motion sickness. I have no tip about that. The only tip I have about that for you is don't do it. You know, just tell people, hey, if you wanna contact me, if you're dying, you might as well just wanna call 911 or you can just give me a phone call, okay? I cannot text you back. So that happened to me for months. It was very, very bad because I could not do the things that I need to do. So now that I'm about to be in my third trimester, I don't have that as much, just a little bit, but now when I eat or drink anything before I'm about to go in the car, I feel like the world is spinning. I literally feel like someone just dropped me in the Pacific Ocean and I'm floating for 30 hours. That's how I feel now and it's terrible. So my motion sickness is still really bad. The only tip I have for that is just stay my black behind home. I mean, I really don't have any other tips for that besides I'm just gonna have to stay home and it's really depressing and it just is what it is. Like I'm telling you guys, if I have more than three sips of water or if I just have half of a banana and I'm about to get in my car, I'm gonna be sick, okay? So like I said, my only tip is stay home. Okay, just, just stay home. So another thing that happens to everybody is mood and emotional changes. Fortunately enough, I am not the really bad attitude pregnant person. I don't snap on people now that I'm pregnant. I probably, yeah, I definitely snapped on people before I got pregnant. Um, yeah, less snapping and uh, less snapping now that I'm pregnant. I'm very calm, you know, my child, makes me very calm in stressful situations. So when stressful situations happen to me pre-pregnancy, I don't completely freak out, but I am not that calm, okay? But now, I just don't know, my child is just perfect. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what your child is doing to you, but my child is not doing that to me. But 
if you are one of those people who cuss people out and want to punch people in the face and do all that stuff, you know, only advice and tips that I have for you is that first of all, you're grown, so stop doing that. The second piece of advice is that have some self-reflection. If you are married or if you live with your partner and you're recently pregnant, just check in with your partner, you guys, okay? Not only is it a major change to the mother-to-be, come on, the father, listen. They have emotions too, they have feelings too. You just can't go down breaking each other's necks all day long and not apologizing. And your only excuse is that, oh, I'm pregnant, so I'm just mad today. Or, oh, I'm pregnant, so I just wanna just burn your clothes today. You genuinely can't do that. So as an adult, okay, when your mood changes, you're gonna notice it eventually, okay? And I don't wanna hear all that crap that everybody says that, oh, well, she's just pregnant, so just let her act that way. No, you're also an adult too. Do you want somebody just cussing you out because they just rolled on the opposite side of the bed this morning? No, you don't. So just have self-reflection on how you act. Luckily and thankfully, I don't have to worry about this because I'm not a snappy person while I'm pregnant. I'm very chill, I'm very mellow. Actually, my family is very concerned about how chill and mellow I am during this pregnancy. But yeah, the house could be burning down and I'm just gonna be like, okay, you guys, well, come on, let's just, let's get our stuff. The house is burning down, like, we'll, we'll be okay. Hey, can you warm up me some popcorn before the house burns down? So that's how I act during my pregnancy. But I know that 99.9% .9 of the population does not act that way. That is my mood changer that has currently happened to me while pregnant. I know it's probably not the same for you guys, but hey, if you are that person that's spiraling out of control, your attitude is so bad, please just understand that other people have feelings and your partner, your spouse has emotions too. And you cannot just say, well, I'm pregnant, so I get to do whatever I want to do, because that's wrong. Here's another first trimester symptom I have is that my heart was just racing all the time. My heart was beating really fast. This is just something that happened. So it wasn't really scary to me at first, but it was a little weird. I mean, I Googled the information. I asked my mom, I asked my doctor about it. And yeah, when you get pregnant, especially in your first trimester, your heart just beats really, really fast. So I don't have a tip for this because there is no tip, you guys. This is just what happens when you get knocked up, okay? So next tip. The next symptom I had in my first trimester was that I was just hot and sweaty. So listen, you sweat in areas that you don't wanna sweat in, okay? I'm just gonna tell you that right now, okay? So in order to help with that, your underwear should really be cotton. It just helps with being sweaty, as well as like, for example, this one I have on. It's very cotton, you know, I'm chilling. I'm not sweating right now. I'm not hot because I just really like to wear cotton and stuff because your girl cannot be sweating. I just I just can't live that life. So if you're a sweater or if you begin sweating your first trimester, just wear more cotton. The last tip that I have for you guys that happened to me was that I had very, and I do mean very, bloody gums, okay? So I kind of wanted to put this, because this is like a weird fact in pregnancy, and a lot of people don't know this, but yes. So originally, before I found out that I was pregnant, I scheduled a dentist appointment because I was flossing, and typically I don't bleed when I floss, and when I was flossing, y'all, the blood was just swiveling down like I had a freaking nosebleed, okay? So that was really freaky, okay, and that freaked me out. But later I researched, cause y'all know I'm a researcher. Later I researched that in your first trimester, one symptom that you're possibly pregnant is that you will have bloody gums. So just letting y'all know that. And also two, okay, if you think that you're pregnant, don't go to the dentist and make an appointment because it's a lot of different things. Matter of fact, almost all things, you can't even get a cleaning while you're pregnant or you're not supposed to. Just don't do that, okay? If you think you're pregnant, take the test, sis, okay? Take the test. Don't go straight to the dentist's office because you have some bloody gums, okay? You don't wanna do nothing to danger the baby, especially not in the first trimester. Okay, you guys, so that is all of my first trimester symptoms that I had. Remember, this is not everything that you had. This is what I had and the tips that I did to help me with these symptoms. So, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys later.